Okay, so Salvo, tell me, uh, what are the main concerns ST has when it comes to what's called the energy transition? Yep. When uh, you go through our boat, uh, you yeah. will find a lot of solutions. Uh, um, all of them are related to our everyday life. But there is a common message uh, to all of them. That is uh, a, a ST commitment to contribute and drive the transition, the sustainable transition yeah. to full electrification. In terms of like, you know, in terms of this kind of vast potential that we have for this sustainable transition, um, what kind of, what are we seeing? How, what's our vision on ST side? How are we kind of dividing the, the different kind of application segments there? So we can identify two mega trends. Yeah. One is related to smart immobility. So everything is concerned with car electrification, automotive environment. So sure. either, uh, either uh, uh, software, uh, hardware, whatever. Yeah. The other mega trends is in the efficiency maximization of every kind of renewable energy generation. I'm talking of uh, uh, photovoltaic, wind power, DC charging infrastructure for electric vehicle. I'm talking of energy storage uh, in, the, in the batteries uh, that uh, make possible to mitigate the intermittent uh, uh, intrinsic nature of every kind of renewable energy. In terms of like technology and enablement, and I think everybody knows where we want to go with this salvo, uh, at ST, what's our focus? What's our key enabling technology for that? Yeah, sure, for sure, it's silicon carbide. Yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me, tell me about it. Let's run through very quickly, because I think people know about silicon carbide yes. now, but I know that we, you know, give me the, the top characteristics that yeah. are good for the renewables, yeah. Uh, you know, Sarah, uh, ST has been pioneer in introducing and actually industrializing such a technology, and today is the leader of the market. Uh, Sion Carbide is a technology having intrinsic uh, electrical parameters that make possible the device to reduce switching and conduction losses that in the end turn into a higher efficiency of whatever end application, automotive, industrial, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, is a technology enabling the uh, produ production of higher blocking voltage devices with higher power density that make possible to design uh, higher power applications. Uh, last but not least, uh, is a, a, a technology that uh, uh, makes possible to design more compact and lightweight and uh, applications. Uh, all of these features and benefits make possible in the end to uh, realize, to design uh, and application that uh, reduce uh, the total cost of ownership. And speaking of customers, uh, I know this is your job, Salvo, you're here, you're here for customers and you know one of the things that you're doing is enabling them. And I know that we have a very vast range of customers, sort of big, small and so on. So um, how are we supporting them? How are we helping people get to market as quickly as possible with uh, silicon carbide technology? ST is a, a supplier of key components. Uh, I would say the key ingredients to develop any kind of final solutions. And as you said, uh, uh, we have a, a large variety of customers, big ones, big in terms of uh, design team uh, uh, resources. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking of companies that uh, have access to full know-how and uh, know how to deal with uh, any kind of uh, component uh, and optimization of the performance in the applications. Uh, so they, they know how to use our uh, uh, silicon carbide MOSFETs, sure. how to use our uh, other key pro components. Uh, I'm talking of rectifiers, silicon carbide rectifiers. I'm talking of the uh, ST uh, gap driver that uh, is a perfect companion of uh, our transistors. Mm -hmm. I'm talking of other key components like uh, digital controller uh, or MFU. Mm -hmm. And all uh, these uh, components uh, are uh, available at any time uh, and uh, we can, we can uh, support can our big customers. On the other end, we have also a small and medium-sized customers. We are happy to support any of our customers. In that case, we like to uh, realize uh, ST reference designs that are combining all together these components yeah. and showing them how they can perform at the best of their potential. All right, Salvo, I see we have some amazing boards here that we're using to help our customers get to market as quickly as possible. 
Will we deep dive? Tell me all about them. Yeah, let's go. Let's go inside. Yeah, the first board that we like to show is a 15 kilowatt bidirectional PFC. Uh, it is available uh, with uh, our key components, uh, in particular silicon carbide power MOSFETs uh, from Generation 3, yep. either 650 volt and 1200 volt, uh, the galvanic isolated gate driver, and uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the 32 uh, bit microcontroller. It is a bidirectional topology uh, designed with the T-type topology. Okay, and it's aimed towards what kind of applications? Yeah, typical application for these boards are DC charging stations, but also UPS and energy storage battery systems. All right, Salvo. Okay. So I see that we have uh, another board here on the pod. Would you like to go into a bit more detail about that? Yeah, indeed. So it is a 7 kilowatt bidirectional AC-DC converter that uh, uh, make possible to design a solar integrated energy storage system so, uh, thanks uh, to uh, provision for an MPPT uh, stage connection. The, the board is using uh, silicon carbide power MOSFETs, uh, 650 and 1200 volt uh, from generation 3, available in uh, HU3 pack uh, top cycle package that make possible to design very high power density uh, boards. Indeed, these boards come with an unmatched power density of uh, 4 kilowatt per liter. The board, uh, the MOSFET in particular, are uh, singularly uh, driven by ST gap uh, driver from ST, and uh, uh, even important to mention that they are using uh, our own uh, microcontrollers uh, from STM 32G4 generation. I'm guessing as well that there is a huge amount of resources available on ST.com which are accompanying these boards, right? That's right, that's right. You know, first of all, uh, uh, we are still here for a couple of days, so our customers, our visitors are yes. always welcome come to, to come us. and uh, they will find a, a community of ST people uh, that are really uh, um, uh, proud to, to, to support and, and to answer to any of their questions. Yeah. But uh, as, as you anticipated, we have all these uh, uh, components, all this reference design fully described in our website okay. uh, with dedicated pages where they can find access to the key components, to the, to the schematic, to the Gerber files. I'm sure that they will find the right ST people that can support uh, the design at every level, component, system, uh, hardware, uh, software. And maybe psychological support as well. Who knows? Because <laughs> it's a good tough point. design process. Good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Listen, thank you very much, Salvo. It's been great talking to you. And this whole world, it's, it's, it's intriguing. And, uh, you know, great to see ST really fully involved in the energy transition. So uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it as well. Thank you very much. And what else should we say? Come and join us at Electronica 2024. Yeah, we look forward to, to, to welcoming be, you. Yeah, okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.